and we are live. We are live, yeah. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cook in Tandem. My name is Michelle. Annalisa, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my name is Annalisa. I want to see if we were like live. We are live. So we are today we are going to do steam baking with the Varoma. Yep. And uh, so today, uh, Annalisa, what are you cooking? I'm making steamed uh, white chocolate cheesecake. White chocolate cheesecake. And I will be making the layered caramel flan. And we are featuring two of the Wonder Mix accessories. This is the cutest bun pan. Yeah, this one. Yep, that one, perfect. Mine is already pre-buttered. Uh, pre yeah, nice. And Annalisa will be using, Annalisa will be using the uh, spring form pan that has two bases, a flat, and we'll talk more about this a little bit later. So let's go ahead uh, with Annalisa with the recipe. I'm gonna start it. Okay, so. Let's see. I'm going to make the topping first because it has to cool off in the fridge. Okay. So I'm going to put strawberry in our thermomix. And then sugar. Uh, water. And I have a little, sorry, a little lime zest. And then lime juice. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna put the liquid caramel in the bun pan. Yeah. Uh, and it's gonna cook for four minutes at 90, 90 degrees. Okay. A speed trick. I'm gonna mute myself so this way. Can you hear the thermomix? Clearly. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not gonna mute. No, you don't need to mute. Uh, what I'm putting on now is I'm just gonna put the, uh, the liquid caramel here. So it's on. So you put in the liquid caramel in the bun pan? Yes, I'm putting it on the bun pan now, so I'm preparing it. Okay. Well, so good, although it became candy. I don't know why it does that to me all the time. <laughs> it's going to take put too much water. That's probably why. Okay. So I, I could start pre measuring mine then. Uh, I'm, uh, this is just seven ounces condensed milk, you know, and then seven ounces of evaporated milk. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start putting it in. I should have opened this thing. I'm going to open this a little bit, the can a little bit wider. Um, it's very thick. I've seen recipes that also use uh, dulce de leche, so you could use dulce de leche. I am using just uh, about um, that's milk it's today. It's yeah. like a coaster, you know? Yeah, so this is like the flan, I think. It's like the flan recipe. And I I believe this is, this is the first time I'm making it. And I think this is going to be like a, um, almost like a chocolate flan. So okay. this is very exciting to do because we are going to use the Varoma and my favorite baking bun pan. Um, and when you measured it, it was like how many cups? It was four cups. It, it was, was four, cups. The rim yeah. four cups of the rim. Um, so it's perfect for uh, at least, you know, well, it depends on how much you eat, but about six servings. Four yeah. six servings. Um, so my thing is very slow. I don't know. I should have just opened the darn thing, but it's going. Um, and then 
we are so right behind me or right on our side you can see all the wonder mix accessories um again these are just two of the wonder mix accessories that we're using today that we love to use for baking the spring form pan that Annalisa is using and my bun pan which is four cups the spring form pan Annalisa, there's two bases so which one are you using today um i'm gonna use the flat one because i'm gonna make a cheesecake so uh, i use the flat one but we have two so we have the decorative one they look like like a bun pan but it's with a hole in the middle okay and um and we have the flat one so you can make more you have two choice so you have a choice right exactly so depending on the recipe um and it fits exactly and i will show you as soon as this uh this thing all i just need a little bit more for my recipe it's coming in so slowly out so slowly i should say <laughs> well, i opened it so wide already yeah and okay. if you have any question just you know text on the chat and we're gonna answer your question yeah so any any questions whether it's what we're using today or any of our wonder mix accessories we'll be happy to we'll be happy to um, answer all those perfect so you're just done too perfect yep so now i got the um, the topping of the for the cheesecake okay so now it's it hot if you can see it i'm gonna put in a little dish and i'm gonna put it in the fridge so this way it's gonna it's gonna cool before i put it on top of the cheesecake excellent my oven is ready too so let me see the method this is the wonder bajua so you're using the wonders patel yeah okay i love the wonders patel it's nice and skinny i'm gonna rinse the my bowl okay and then I'm, i'll be back with the second step very good so i have put in already the evaporated milk which is so much faster and then i'm gonna put two eggs lovely I'm putting in two eggs. Okay. There you have it. And we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as we're doing, uh, we're, we love our Thermomix so much, and we have found great pleasure, even better, more pleasure in using our wonderful successes and expanded the use of it um we could make a lot of things in the varoma so not just steaming vegetables so now i'm very excited that i'm new to baking and i could use my thermomix after all it's what 22 plus appliances in one i could use it for steam baking as well very healthy so here we go I'm gonna put this in Mix it. So I'm just mixing my flan portion of it. So I'm gonna do the next step. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna use cookies, dry cookies. Okay. And then put in the sumo mix and then butter. And then I'm going to put the measuring cup in the lid. And uh, I'm going to go to speed eight for 15 seconds. So I'm filling, I think, I'm, I'm, I've 
put the thing, half of it in the bun pan already. Okay. Put this in. All right. So I have done my first layer. Smells good. So now I'm going to put everything in the spring form and I'm going to cook at 320 okay. for 10 minutes. And this is the base of the cheesecake. So that is the base of the cheesecake? Yeah. Perfect. I'm just going to, I'm not going to put all the stuff in the bun pan. I don't want to see. I'm holding back a little bit. So now I'm gonna do it flat. Let's see if I can do it this. So you've done the base? Yeah, I just have to flatten it up. Yes. Okay, so you're putting it now on the uh, spring form pan? Yeah, I put it in. And now I'm making like you have to squeeze it down. You can use any cookies that you like. If they are not, it's better to use not sweet, like too much sweet, because then it's gonna be too much. I'm very excited. I've never done um, cheesecake in the past, but my son always loves cheesecakes so and now I could make that one. Yeah, and the aroma is, and then super fast. And I like the aroma because it's, it doesn't produce much heat. Yeah, and then we don't know. Now it's going to be what? It's going to be warmer here? Yeah, in the oven, when you put it in the oven, you have to put the bat thing, so you have to put another pan on the bottom. Yeah, one more meat. Okay. Water, yeah. And that's the result. So I'm going to just take 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna do the steaming. Wash it, but it's pretty clean. So I'm not gonna wash it. I'm gonna put white chocolate inside. I already oh, put what it. you say? That's cool. White chocolate already. Oh, white right. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I heard white coconut because of this thing. It's mixing it. <laughs> no, it's, it's the white chocolate. And then I'm going to skip this step because I already did it before. And then we have to go for five minutes. Uh, 50 seconds here. By speed one. So now it's going to melt the chocolate. I just want to show everybody like the, the two bases. Right, so that's one base. Okay. So it's a one. It's like a decorative one. Yeah, so it okay. has the um, the edges. I don't know if you could see that. So it's like not stick. Um. So you know that this is the bottom because the brand is right there. Yeah. All the there's some little grooves right there, so it's like lift, you know, make it non stick. And then this one is the decorative bottom with the fluted. So this is like your bun pan with the fluted um, middle, the fluted middle, and then decorative. See? Very nice. Yeah. And I think you know, about, uh, we post a video with the decorative one. We used it with the marble cake. Yeah, I tried this one with the marble cake, and the recipe fits exactly on the performance. So, um that one was really good um, yeah the only change i'm going to do is add more chocolate because <laughs> we love it so I mean, I'm add more chocolate and are you like the steam cake uh compared to the one in the oven? it came out moist 
So um, I, when I tried the muffin, I sampled the leftover and put it in my toaster oven. And I noticed that it was moist in the steam baking compared to the one in the oven. So I like, um, I prefer, and it lasted longer because I mean, we did have, we did have leftovers. Um, I like that it lasted and it remained moist um, throughout, like, it lasted like a few days, you know, maybe one or two, that's about it. And you made the cornbread, you say? I made the cornbread, yeah. It was really good. Um, and it's supposed to be cheddar cheese, but I just, you know, scrambled, like, whatever I had, I think I used brie. So the next time I'll try cheddar cheese and a little jalapeno, that's really good. So that one I used this I put it in a little muffin and um, the beauty of it is you just boop, you know because it's so easy to pop that's it and then when i clean it i just turn it inside out wash that part wash that part and it's done yeah and, and it dries fast i just do a little boop, boop, and that's it and they are dishwasher safe so you can put it's it in dishwasher the safe but you know me i don't you know i really put stuff in the dishwasher unless i really need to yeah and um uh, i think i wanted to ask you so and uh, with the, the pink uh, cupcake uh, form we can do like pudding and you know a lot of things like you can do panna cotta you can do a lot of things yeah you can do a lot of things so um definitely i put i, I put a little too much of a lot because i was chatting I put a little bit on it and just pulled back on the flour for a little bit more than, than necessary. So show them the, uh, the what the bun pan looks like. Yeah, the bun pan has a decorative design and it holds four cups and it's as the hole in the middle. That's why they call bun pan. Yeah. And uh, it's like this, I don't know if you can see it. They yeah. are all non-thick. They are all made in Germany. Good quality. It's very good. Easy to clean. Yeah. And it's dishwash safe too. That one is dishwasher. And it's also, of course, you could use, you could put that in the oven. You know, so if you don't want to steam, you could use it. You could use it in the oven, toaster oven, anything, up to how many degrees? Yeah, but it's good for the toaster oven. That's what I'm using now. Because a lot of times, you know, regular pan, they can fit in there. So I'm cooking the the bottom of the cheesecake, the cookie part, uh, in the, my little oven. Very this good. is the flax, uh, the flax spatel. Flaxy spatel? Yeah, I'm going to use this. I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bendable. So in the Thermomix, it's very good when you have to take all the the stuff out so it comes pretty easy and clean. I'm gonna use this today for take the when I'm done. Excellent. So I've been I'm just putting a pinch of salt on it. This should this should be good. yeah I have six three two one. Excellent. So now I wanna show you the the you know, before this melted. Cook, let the cheesecake part. Yeah, the white, white chocolate. So now I'm going to put 500 grams of cream cheese. Oh, the white chocolate. Yeah. yeah, and it's softened, so I had it on the counter here. So I'm going to put 500 grams of cream cheese. And then sugar again. I use the monk. Uh, sugar, the that's, that's Mom's sweetener, yeah. yeah. So, I'm gonna be ready when you're doing that. This is, I forgot to show them all this. I put the flan here now, yeah. So, while you're doing that, I'm gonna pour put a little bit vanilla, and that's and the extract. extract. That's the real thing. The real thing, <laughs> I got this on Amazon. It's, uh, yeah, the pure vanilla, and then we have to put this on. And then I'm gonna go to speed 5.5 5 
And as to, it's going to be 45. I think it's 25 seconds. I can do it. Now it's making everything together. Perfect. So now we are going to use the aroma for steaming. Um, are you using the wonder cap? Uh, not yet, after. Okay. So, good. So, I'm going to just put everything together. That's, now that's better. Mine wasn't incorporated well, so I just did. Remixed it. Okay. Uh, I want to taste this. Although it's supposed, you're not supposed to taste it with raw eggs. I don't know. It's good. Oh my god. Mmm. Yum. This one smells good. Okay. So now I have to put four eggs inside, but I have to do <clears throat> little by little, one at a time. So, okay, like this. next. So, I put one egg at a time, it's four eggs. It's yummy. So, when the pork is incorporated, and then you put the other one in. So I've never made bun cake before. Am I supposed to put it all the way to the top? Yeah, because it doesn't uh, it doesn't rise. Oh, so it's not supposed to rise. That's right. Yeah, that it doesn't rise. Like baking soda. Yeah. So I didn't really need to hold this back. And uh, no, I just have to take. Well, I'm gonna just put it in. What's gonna happen, right? Yeah. Supposed to be the impossible cake. Okay, I stand corrected. Okay, it's cooked. Nice. Nice and brown. Yeah. Actually, it was like multi grain cookie. So I'm, I'm doing like a healthier way. Very healthy. Yeah, healthier way cheesecake. So now it's all incorporated. Okay, now I have to put the cheesecake in the spring form. And the meanwhile, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna put this back in here. It said, you know, I have to wait to cool off, but we don't have time because we are alive. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this in. I don't think it's gonna make any difference. Okay, excellent. So they the said I'm supposed to put foil on mine. Yeah, because you know why? Because the steam of the aroma, and then it's gonna go in the cake. It's gonna go on the cake, right? And then you're gonna get water. Yeah. So I have my foil ready. Okay. So now. I'm just gonna take a quick shot of these. So now I'm gonna switch my uh, a switch bowl and I have the wonder pot. If you see, there is no blade. Yeah. Because now for this, I don't need the blade. And right. then- You really like the speed. You don't really need it. No, I don't need the speed. So I have to just boil the water. So are you boiling the water first? No, it, it's all I want. Um, so now I need a liter of water. On the okay, I'll do the same. Yeah, so just like Annalisa, I already did my wonder cap. My, my second bowl. So now uh, we have to place the varoma. For my lid on, 
and then we're gonna get the Varoma, place it on top of the Thermomix. And we gotta dig it, I don't know if you can see it. It's all in here. It's almost all the way on top. So I think this is a good uh, measurement. So you need gonna... the recipe, it all fits, right? Yeah. So see, see how it fits in the Varoma? I don't know. Now it's too, okay, let's see. It's liquid, so I don't, I cannot tilt. And then, with the Norm addition, sure, secure and close. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little uh, I'm gonna put a little foil on top. Set a saran wrap? Yeah, so this way it doesn't, the steam doesn't go on my cheesecake. It's okay, so I put the oil on mine. We're gonna put the cover. And yeah, so then I'm gonna go sweet one for 40 minutes. So now it's gonna cook for 40 minutes. I don't have to do anything yeah. else. So mine is gonna take a while too. So we're just gonna show them how beautiful this fits right here. Perfect for the Varova. So all our spring, for our, all our Wonder Mix accessories fit right in the Varova. Yeah, they are specific, specifically <laughs> made. Specifically made for the Varoma. Yeah. yeah. So mine is gonna, it's steaming for 80 minutes. And so while that is cooking, just wanna take the opportunity to uh, thank you for watching us and show you the wonder cap. There you go. Yeah. yeah the box. And then it comes with instructions. So you can uh, uh, make mistakes because I just wanted to show you, there is the QR code here. You just, with your phone, you press on and you're gonna get a recipe. And uh, it's in uh, English and German. German. Yeah. Yeah. So the Wonder Cup is perfect for the recipes that you do not need the blade. Because the Wonder Cup is like a uh, suction cup. It's not connected. Um, it's not connected at all to the motor. So right now we're using it because there's plenty of water and all it is is we're just using it for the steaming um, and it's in the Baroma and at speed one, doesn't really matter, we're gonna put it at speed spoon. So. Yeah. And it's good for um, sous vide, for soups. Yeah. Um, yeah, for all this stuff that they have a lot of liquid inside, so it's boiling and then it's cooking the food, but it's not sticking. So you don't need the blade to move. You don't need the blade to move, exactly. Yeah. It gives you 20% capacity, mm -hmm. so you can cook, you know, more pasta, more rice, um, more of everything. Like I said, it's safe. You use it safely, and that this is why we're here. So we could show you how to use it safely. You could always reach out to us, ask us any questions, look at our website, reach out to us via, we have our chat there. Um, you could look at it social media, you could reach out to us as well. So yeah, you, I mean, we're everywhere, right? So yeah, we are on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, just subscribe and follow us on YouTube too, because we're putting the video there too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we are, all everywhere we want people or thermomix users to know that the product the product they are from germany and they are like tested so it's not they don't make something that they're gonna break your thermomix because we pay a lot of money for the thermomix and we don't want to I mean, I don't want to break it because I love it I have three of them. exactly we spent the same money as you so yeah. you're in the US we spent the same exact money as you so of course, why would we want to break our thermomix? Yeah. <laughs> and like I mentioned before, uh, earlier, and every time this is, our kitchen is our laboratory. So we're testing all the recipes, we're using it for our own family. Um, and we've had successful recipes. 
Yeah. And um, so we shared that with you. And we it basically enhanced, expanded even more, right? Like because a Thermomix is how yeah. many how many kitchen appliances in one? I think it's 25 for now. And then we have like, you know, we have the juicer. So it's one more. Right. And so it's more and more, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so as it expands and now, you know, baking. We never really do baking. Oh, somebody said hello. Hi, Matilde. Hi, Ma Ciao, um, Matilde. Ciao. Yeah, so now with baking, I'm excited because I could bake. I don't need big cakes. I have a small family right now. And I could have tea cakes, muffins, you know, just small enough so I could have a, a couple of tastings, you know, small little cakes. And you could have yeah. a little. It's true because right, right now everybody's on a diet because this pandemic, everybody's on a diet because. Yeah, yeah. Cakes. And so you don't want to, you want to taste it, but you don't want a big thing. So it's right. good. And it's good for six, eight, eight people because you do slices. You it know? Is, that is true. That is true. Yeah. So you could have plenty for everyone without over excessive. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. I think we're going to show you. I don't know if we're going to come back live and show you the result or we're going to do picture and post it. Yeah. So stay tuned. But, you know, follow us on social media, subscribe and. We're gonna yeah, because them. now the cakes, yeah. I mean, they have to cool off. So it takes at least four hours to cool off after they are cooked. So that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we have to like, yeah, mine, uh, they said put it in the fridge for, it needs to cool off for four hours. Yeah, so I wanted to just tell everybody that every Thursday night at seven, if you wanted to join us with Wonder You, uh, we do, we explain how to use the products uh, in the right way. And if you want to, you can ask us like a private or, you know, private messaging, and we're gonna send you the link. And it's like a video, we, it's a Zoom, so we can chat. If, if you have any concern or any question, we can answer for you. That's right. So you, you and your friends, we could have a little um, party and you know invite us we'll bring right the right right right. we'll show you exactly how to use all this stuff so be right you know next to me we have all our wonder mix accessories available yeah it's it's no obligation so it's we just you know to hang out together and it's not an obligation so if you want to join us Thursday let us know so we can get a, a glass of wine together exactly and we might just have a surprise for you so if you join us for a wonder you may just have a promo code special for you so yep attend to get one and so you could go uh, promo code to have a to use for our shop our cooking tandem.com so yep. i think uh this is where we if there no questions, we're gonna like hop off uh social media thank you for joining us and um, if you have any you can questions, follow us either on Facebook or on Instagram. It's yeah. Cooking Tandem, or on Facebook we have Annalisa Michelle, which me and her, and then we have Cooking Tandem, and then Cooking Tandem uh, shop. So it's like three choice on Facebook. Right. We have YouTube, but we tell you. And we're gonna see you next time, or yeah. later. I don't. We don't know yet. Yes, we don't know yet. Stay tuned. You could get. The spring form, the bun pen, and bun all pen. our Wonder Mix accessories at cookintonhand.com. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.